How do you know whether it's God's will to heal you or not? It makes little difference what others say about it. What did God say about it? Remember that God is no respecter of person and he never changes. So what he said to them yesterday, he is saying to you today. God's word is God speaking to you. What did God say? God said, I am the Lord that healeth you. Your days shall be 120 years. You shall be buried in a good old age. You shall come to your grave in a full age, like a shock of a cone cometh in its season. When I see the blood, I will pass over you and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you. I will take sickness away from the midst of you and the number of your days I will fulfill. I will not put any of the diseases you are afraid of on you, but I will take all sickness away from you. It will be well with you and your days shall be multiplied and prolonged as the days of heaven upon the earth. I turned the curse into a blessing unto you because I love you. I have redeemed you from every sickness and every plague. As your days, so shall your strength be. I have found a ransom for you. Your flesh shall be fresher than a child's and you shall return to the days of your youth. I have healed you and brought up your soul from the grave. I have kept you alive from going down into the pit. I will give you strength and bless you with peace. I will preserve you and keep you alive. I will strengthen you upon the bed of languishing. I will turn all your bed in your sickness. I am the health of your countenance and your God. No plague shall come near your dwelling. I will satisfy you with long life. I heal all your diseases. I send my word and heal you. and deliver you from your destructions you shall not die but live and declare my works i heal your broken heart and bind up your wounds the years of your life shall be many trusting me brings health to your navel and marrow to your bones my words are life to you and health and medicine to all your flesh my good report makes your bones fat my pleasant words are sweet to your soul and health to your bones my joy is your strength a merry heart does good like a medicine the eye of the blind shall be opened the eyes of them that see shall not be dim The ears of the deaf shall be unstopped the ears of them that hear shall hearken the tongue of the dumb shall sing the tongue of the stammerer shall be ready to speak plainly the lame man shall leap as a hart i will recover you and make you to live i am ready to save you i give power to the faint I increase strength to them that have no might. I will renew your strength. I will strengthen and help you. To your old age and gray hairs, I will carry you and I will deliver you. I bore your sickness. I carried your pains. I was put to sickness for you. With my stripes, you are healed. I will heal you. Your light shall break forth as the morning and your health shall spring forth speedily. I will restore health unto you 
and I will heal you of all your wounds. I will bring it health and cure and I will cure you and will reveal unto you the abundance of peace and truth. I will bind up that which was broken and will strengthen that which was sick. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live. And I shall put my spirit in you and you shall live. Whithersoever the river shall come shall live. They shall be healed and everything shall live where the river comes. Seek me and you shall live. I have arisen with healing in my wings. I will be thou clean. I took your infirmities. I bore your sicknesses. If you are sick, you need a physician. I am the Lord your physician. I am moved with compassion toward the sick and I heal them. I heal all manner of sickness and all manner of diseases. According to your faith, be it unto you. I give you power and authority over all unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. I heal them all. As many as touch me are made perfectly whole. Healing is the children's bread. I do all things well. I make the deaf to hear and the dumb to speak. If you can believe, all things are possible to you who believe it. When hands are laid on you, you shall recover. My anointing heals the brokenhearted and delivers the captives, recovers sight to the blind and sets at liberty those that are bruised. I heal all those who have need of healing. I have not come to destroy men's lives but to save them. Behold, I give you authority over all the enemy's power and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Sickness is satanic bondage and you ought to be loosed today. In me is life. I am the bread of life. I give you life. The words I speak unto you are spirit and life. I have come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. I am the resurrection and the life. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Faith in my name makes you strong and gives you perfect soundness. I stretch forth my hand to heal. I, Jesus Christ, make you whole. I do good and heal all that are oppressed of the devil. My power causes diseases to depart from you. The law of the spirit of life in me has made you free from the law of sin and death. The same spirit that raised me from the dead now lives in you and that spirit will quicken your mortal body now. Your body is a member of me. Your body is a temple of my spirit and you are to glorify me in your body. If you will rightly discern my body which was broken for you and judge yourself, you will not be judged and you will not be weak, sickly or die prematurely. I have set gifts of healing in my body. My life may be made manifest in your mortal flesh. I have delivered you from death. I do deliver you and if you trust me, I will yet deliver you. I have given you my name and have put all things under your feet. I want it to be well with you. and i want you to live long on the earth i 
have delivered you from the authority of darkness. I will deliver you from every evil work. I tasted death for you. I destroyed the devil who had the power of death. I have delivered you from the fear of death and bondage. I wash your body with pure water. Lift up the weak hands and the feeble knees. Don't let that which is lame be turned aside, but rather let me heal it. Let the elders anoint you and pray for you in my name, and I will raise you up. Pray for one another and I will heal you. By my stripes you were healed. My divine power has given unto you all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of me. Whosoever will, let him come and take of the water of life freely. Beloved, I wish above all things that you may be in perfect divine.